otherwise i'll show you how to add your custom html page into your wordpress website so for that you need to make your custom html page first before beginning this so here you can see i have my own custom html with a logo and this three login things if you click on that it will be redirected to some other pages so nothing to worry so this is my if you want to uh, again i'll show you page source also so this is my html thing just with menus home subjects login the same thing you can see here home subjects login okay so this will be my logo so i have use and a link for that actually right that's a gif image you can see here and uh, this uh, i have given it uh, the position margin and left right so if you have little bit css knowledge you can uh, understand what i'm trying to say here so this is my inner css which i have used within this html content so there are two types of uh, Mm, adding CSS to your HTML one is uh, using uh, a style tags and adding your uh, using style tags and adding your HTML uh, CSS code in it and another one is uh, uh, you can uh, refer a link CSS you can upload the link and uh, paste the link like shown here you can okay, right I think but before uh, proceeding this you need to have HTML CSS so that you can easily understand what I'm trying to see so i would like to add the same menu you can see here the same menu thing to my html page this is simply a html so if you have any idea you can see here properties it is a simple kb file so whenever when, you, when i click on this it's opening with uh, it's a gif image don't worry what this is actually okay this is a gif image with login things so i will show how to add this html your wordpress website for that you need to log into your wordpress website so go to pages sorry um i'm so fast actually before working with this i recommend you guys to install two essential plugins to work with uh, your custom html page your wordpress website so for that i'll show you what are the important plugins you need to install actually so one is just the page so here you can see just the page plugin another one is a disable visual at wysiwyg so what this does and what this does i will show you okay so first go to a page add new page see now here we have some content what is this so when you install just the page and activate it you will see this display only the page content and when you install the disable visual editor wys wyg something like that so you will see this into your page when you install and activate those plugins uh, your uh, when you try to add new page you can see here so first before adding your html to your page i would like to click this i want you guys to uh, highlight the checkbox of this and uh, disable current post so for example what happens if you does not remove this you can have a simple thing so i want to make it a little bit quick okay so disable only for the page content what does this do is you can see here it will hide the page header and footer content of your current html theme so you are whenever you try to add some html content the content will be shown in between your header and footer of the wordpress theme so in that case we want we don't want to show that header and footer only we want to show our custom html with our logo and uh, menu buttons right so for that you need to disable the only uh, you uh, disable only the page content so highlight this checkbox and another one is disable for current post so what does this so so actually i hope this is enough right now so what's the purpose of this so whenever you try to add some uh, script so html will be have no html won't only have css uh, along with css uh, so has some html will be having for smooth navigations they'll be using script codes right javascript codes so in case if you want to disable if you want uh, 
to add your script code to your HTML so in that case I want you to disable for the current post so um, so I'm a little bit confused I will explain you again what is the purpose of this visual editor okay so guys just think now your HTML page contains some JavaScript code with uh, along with your HTML CSS content if you see here my HTML page doesn't contain any script language web page source there is nothing script language here here is only a C style sheet CSS code and uh, your HTML content okay in case if you have any html in case if you have any html uh, C, uh, javascript content in it so when you paste in when you try to pay when you paste the code here and when you directly click on visual editor so so i'll show you with an example so i click like this when i click like visual editor you can see the uh, the visibility of this code misses now just click on preview you see we don't want that should be like this we want that should be to the right and as like shown here where is that sorry see so there is so much difference for these things right this is our html so when i click on this it is opening with uh, this thing but when i when i try to show that thing in wordpress it is showing something like this so i don't want this should be happening so what is the main thing we need to do is that we should remove the visual editor for that and simply publish so still you'll be having the same problem because this code has been corrupted i can see this say this code has been corrupted so if you see the changes you can still see that we'll be having the same login subjects and all those things here right we don't have we didn't get this thing so finally when you disable the visualator for current post you can see the visualator is lost here okay and uh, when you disable display only the page content here no, just a second. Now I have removed here and right click this, open with edit plus if you install that thing. So simply copy the complete content and paste it here in text editor. Right? So you just click preview changes, you will have the same HTML content here. Ta da! So that's not that hard, right? So this is a single example for uh, inner CSS so it's not hard for uh, external CSS for example some HTML files contains external CSS so there's nothing to worry you need to just uh, upload the CSS file to your WordPress media and uh, uh, copy the uploaded link and paste it in the CSS file uh, the where you mentioned the style text oblique style right uh, text slash style so this is up to now guys i hope you understand please subscribe for more interesting videos thank you for watching